Welcome to my lecture online. Here's the first example of the first type of word problem. Word problems dealing with relative price and cost. The problem reads as follows. Tom wants to buy a bicycle that costs $360. That is $42 less than twice as much as Tom has saved. How much has he saved? Well, how do we start a problem like that? Typically, it starts with the sentence, let x equal something. So let's start with that. Let x equal, now we need to let x equal something. And in this case, we probably want to let x be the unknown, how much Tom has saved, because everything is in terms of how much he has saved. So let x equal represent the amount of dollars that Tom has saved. Notice how that, that statement is fairly descriptive. It says exactly what it means that X represents the amount of dollars, the amount of money that Tom has saved. Don't say let X equals Tom or something like that. Just be very descriptive what X represents. Now we need to read the sentence and uh, let's see here, we need to figure out something relative to the price. It says here that $360 is $42 less than twice as much money as Tom has saved. So that means that 2x is equal to twice the amount Tom has saved. Now when we subtract $42 from that, we'll have $42 less than twice as much Tom has saved. So 2x minus $42 is equal to $42 less than twice as much as Tom has saved. Now notice the progression. We started with letting x equal the amount that Tom has saved. Then we realized that we're expressing the price of the bicycle in terms of $42 less than twice as much as he has saved. So now we write 2x as being twice the amount he has saved. And then we subtract 42 from that, that means $42 less, because we're subtracting, than twice as much as Tom has saved. And finally, we can set that equal to the price, because that's what they tell us, that the price is equal to $42 less than twice as much as Tom has saved. So 2x minus 42 equals 360, and now we're ready to figure out how much he has saved. We can now solve for x. So we do that by first moving the 42 to the other side. So 2x is equal to 360 plus 42, because when you have a term that changes the other side, it changes the sign. That means that 2x is equal to 402. Now we divide both sides by the numeric coefficient in front of x. So x is equal to 201, which means, therefore, <coughs> Tom has saved $201. So it's not quite there yet. He's not ready to buy the bicycle yet. He needs to continue to save. But at least you can see the methodology. Express x as the amount he has saved. 2x is twice as much that he has saved. Subtract 42. That's $42 less than twice as much he has saved. And then you set that equal to the price because then you can solve for x. And that's how we do that.